I build a lot of Lego and I love Minecraft. And today I'm gonna combine the two and build a Minecraft world in Lego, but I only have 24 hours to do it. And later in the video, I'm gonna show my Lego build to some popular Minecraft YouTubers to get their opinion on it and have them rate it out of 10. To acquire enough of the right pieces, I went to a massive online Lego marketplace called Bricklink and spent an hour adding pieces to the cart and it totaled to a pretty high number. But that was just the start. I also went to Target and bought some of the official Lego Minecraft sets for the mobs and additional parts. Lego is really expensive, guys. I arrived home and oh my god, the Bricklink package has already arrived. I cracked open the box and we got so many good pieces. Then I started unboxing some of the official LEGO Minecraft sets I bought and built up a bunch of mobs and utility blocks to use in the build. Okay, but now that we have everything together, it's time to start on the build. I decided to go with 16x32 for my scale, aka half a LEGO base plate. Since we only have 24 hours, it's best to keep it small and very detailed. I used bricks for the bottom and layered that with some plates to keep it in place and I just kept repeating that process carefully because I was using brown bricks, which if you didn't know are the most fragile LEGO color and have a large history of breaking on this channel. Yeah, broken Lego pieces. Okay, but while elevating the platform with green plates, I realized I messed up. With the scale we're using, the base should have three plates be brown and two plates be green for the most accurate design for grass blocks, but me being me messed it up. Basically, I gotta rip this whole thing apart and redo it. Mission failed. We'll next I carefully meticulously ripped open this beast hoping not to damage any of these sacred brown bricks that I recently bought and it was going pretty well until, unfortunately, it didn't. Oh my god, I don't like these noises. I don't know, what was that? Oh no. Okay, that might not be a broken piece, but there certainly was some battle damage. But that would luckily be the last of our issues for now, because taking apart the rest of it went smoothly. I quickly reassembled the entire thing with the accurate grass block base and started to add some more details. I built the iconic shovel dirt path that's in the Minecraft villages that I represented using dark tan tiles at the same level as the green plates. And since I don't want this world to just be a flat, boring grass plains biome, we're gonna add some elevation in the form of a cliff. Only thing is, I've never built a Minecraft cliff before and, and because our base is kind of small, we're gonna have to conserve each and every block and make this compact while still keeping it realistic and building it pretty fast. And I mean, I need to sleep, guys. I used dark gray to represent the stone bricks and kept repeating the process, elevating the cliff and adding more variation each level, such as ores, light gray blocks to represent other stones so it would be realistic, cause you know, Minecraft is very realistic. And as the cliff got higher, I started to use brown bricks just like how the top of the cliffs are in the game. Also, while doing this, I broke another brown piece. And it was while using the Lego brick separator. Yeah, I just murdered a lego piece by using a lego piece that's meant to remove pieces from each other. The top of the cliff got pretty large and I got pretty scared of using brown bricks so I topped it off with green plates and elevated it another layer and covered that in green and this looks pretty good I mean oh my god that actually just fell right there. After crying in a bush for three hours straight and checking to see if my brown pieces broke, okay, um, we're definitely gonna attach it in way more sturdy this time. Don't break on me. Okay, it's all fixed up now. I decided to get back to the build, but switch gears from building the cliff to building a house on the lower portion. But first, our world is gonna need an owner, so I built one. He's a gamer, but I couldn't think of a name for him, so I just took a picture and asked you guys on my community tab. Quickly, responses started flooding in with people even writing lore behind the character, but after reading many of them, I settled on this response, Bob. Yeah, this house is for Bob. I experimented with a couple different sizes for the house by making these outlines using plates, but I kept on changing them until I got the size I wanted. It shouldn't be too big because I want to add mobs and a walkway for Bob, but also not too small so that Bob can have his necessities like a bed and an overly absurd amount of furnaces. But after I came up with the right scale, I decided to add some fun details in the front. I built this custom leaf block that uses studs on the side similar to the build for ores, which looks so much better than using just a plain 2x2 green brick for leaves. And I also added two strip spruce logs on the side, a smooth stone entranceway, and I designed my own custom Minecraft oak door because I'm not a fan of the official Lego one. Now before I build the walls of the house, I mean shack, it's so tiny, I want to design the interior so that later I don't have to pry my hands inside an 8x8 space with 6 bricks tall walls getting in the way and breaking apart. I've learned from experience, guys. Okay, I went to my Minecraft bin and started looking through furniture to deck out Bob's house. This bed looks perfect. Wrong! Bob is a legend and legends only sleep in red beds, the OG Minecraft beds. So we're using a red bed. I decided to use white carpet for the floor and added in a bed, a crafting table, a stack of three furnaces, and then came the hard part because since this room is so compact, we can only include the most useful blocks for Bob. So I added in this stone cutter that I custom built. It's better than the official Lego design. A stack of bookshelves on the other side because 
knowledge. And I knew I needed to add chests so that Bob could store the good stuff, but Lego's version kind of sucks. I mean, it does open and close and you could store stuff in it, but it's completely inaccurate to the actual chest design in Minecraft, so let's design our own. I grabbed my newly acquired nougat bricks and stared at a still image of a Minecraft chest and came up with a cool design, utilizing this gray modified pieces to handle and then I surrounded that with brown plates and put a tile on top. And then I multiplied that design by three because I have a plan to build three chests stacked on top of each other just like in the game to maximize Bob's chest space while keeping it compact. You'll see. However, I can't really add much more on the ground without making it literally impossible to walk in, so I moved on to building the walls. However, we need to choose the perfect color scheme for this. Minecraft has a larger array of blocks in many different colors, and we need to pick the perfect color combo to build in Lego form, and I need to still have enough pieces to actually build it. To make this realistic, I grabbed some different designs for stone, wood, stripped wood, and so much more, and kept experimenting with different designs as the outline, and finally, I settled on using stripped wood as the outline and stone as the inside walls and we can decide on a roof color later on. But for now, we need to start building. Also, as I was building the front wall, I included a clip on the side so that I could add a torch to the wall for light, but the spot I wanted to put the torch in was where the chest stack is supposed to be, so we can't actually put a torch there, but I mean, Bob doesn't need light, he's built different. On the next wall, I used this awesome jumper plate technique to include windows that are actually pushed back, just like in the game, and on the other side, I included plates sticking out so that now, I can add the other two chests and complete this awesome looking chest stack. We did it, guys. Then, I built the back wall and not only included a clip to attach the torch, but also studs on the side so I can attach this awesome custom LEGO item frame I designed that's actually scaled to a Minecraft minifigure unlike LEGO's version, which is just massive. The interior is already looking awesome, but we're not done yet. While building the final wall, I added some studs on the side to attach a small Minecraft painting to. And that right there pretty much sums up this entire awesome interior, and although it's compact, Bob's got a decked out room. Okay, to get ready to build and attach a roof, I made the top of the walls tiled off except for a few exposed studs so that the roof could easily be attached and removed. And now we need to decide the color of the roof. After some thought and experimentation, I went with tan, aka birch in Minecraft, because it would help contrast with the darker colors of the house. And unpopular opinion, I like the look of birch planks. So I came up with a shape and got to work on this design where the staircase is elevated by two plates each time and each layer is smaller than the previous, kind of like a pyramid. And after building many layers with many tan plates and tiles, I got to the top and finished the roof. Finally. Now it's the fun part. Let's Let's attach the roof to the rest of the house. Let's just hope I got the scale right, otherwise I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. Okay, that went well. Okay, but the house isn't done. It's not cool enough yet. So, I'm gonna add some more details to this. I added these sick looking custom lanterns I designed to the corners of the roof, and I started to build some more leaf bricks, but I ran super low on green studs. I didn't think I was gonna make it, but luckily, I had exactly enough green studs from the crafting box that I bought and my parts collection to build enough leaves. I stacked them to form two of these leaf pillars around the door that look awesome. For some more details, I added two of these potted plants to the front of the house. Let's just say Bob likes plants. But now, we only have a few hours hours left and this build looks kinda incomplete so we need to add a lot more details to make this actually look like a complete Minecraft world. I extended the dirt pathway giving it some elevation and decided to add a waterfall smack dab in the middle of the cliff to represent a failed MLG water bucket. Not speaking from experience or anything, but to really get this landscape looking nice and Minecrafty, I added in a bunch of plants and flowers. Now we kinda neglected the cliff for the last few hours so let's get back to it. I added some additional elevation to make it realistic and I made sure not to make it all green and boring by including some colorful studs, and now I think it's time we build a tree, because trees give us oxygen and oxygen helps Bob survive. Flint and steel time. Okay, but rather than literally copy and pasting LEGO's official Minecraft tree design onto the cliff, I decided to build my own custom superior oak tree where I used these textured brown bricks as the trunk to give the wood the vertical line texture it has in the game. However, for the leaf, since I ran out of green studs, I just went with a simple green brick construction and topped the tree off with it. Next, I decided to build a campfire because I thought it would look really cool on a cliff. Once again, I settled on using my own custom design, which turned out looking awesome, especially when I added the flame. But then, something really bothered me. You know what really goes well with the tree? Fire! Why did we keep the campfire so far away? So, I surgically removed it out of the ground and moved it two blocks over to the right, next to the tree. Ooh, I like this. That was a great use of my time. Okay, but with the addition of these details, plus more plants on the cliff, it's time for the final and most fun step, adding the mobs. Bob is gonna get so many friends, he's gonna expand his new empire. I added skeletons, Steve, a bunny, a flame zombie, a baby pig, and a spider that I attached using the super big brain technique involving this slanted bar piece and a transparent cylinder so that the spider could be climbing on the side of a cliff at an angle. Oh, and I also added Alex with a carrot, a baby slime, and I added a baby chicken who booked it to the top of the roof. However, we need to add one more key piece to finish off the build. The most important addition. I know I've said that like 50 times. This is literally the most important. Bob. 
Yes, our savior has arrived. And with that, Bob lived happily ever after in his Minecraft world that we successfully built in under 24 hours. Okay, but wait, now it's the special moment. We're gonna get the opinion of some Minecraft YouTubers. So I took this picture and messaged it and slowly responses started coming in. Okay, this one is from Blockfax. Oh my God, nine out of 10, the spider placement, jeez. It is actually not accurate to the game. Okay, next up, Wifey's a really cool channel. Bro, what? Okay, I really wanted to get a 10, so I wrote up some lore and worked my magic. And guess what? We secured the 10. 